So, ladies and gentlemen, Bridge Nation, the seventh month of the year is almost at an end. This is the final Friday in that month, the month of July, and we're here with you. Uh, until 10 o'clock this morning for Up and Go. My name is Richard B. Blessings, Bridge Nation. I know this is your boy, Shells. Good morning, Bridge Nation. It's the girl, Queen Jojo. BJ Audley is here. All right. Everybody's on energized like you all had your part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Not <laughs> <laughs> you serious? <laughs> Nothing. Had I, had I known. <laughs> you should have called me or <laughs> sent me a message, uh, Jody. You know how we roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If it's even a little, you know, a little tubs uh, of the francs and things you do. Yeah, See yeah man. Make yeah, sure you look at the onion and the bunny and it don't look too, oh, too gosh, bad. Oh, man. So <laughs> good. I would not be minimalistic <laughs> in terms of my sharing practices. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to say good morning and congratulations right off the bat to Sakaj. Oh, yeah. Sakaj, run with that. <laughs> wow. Congratulations. She has won the festival song competition for the year 2022. Nice. Wow. Yeah, nice. the only female in the competition. Ooh, that means, uh, yeah, and wow. uh, she did it. And we'll have more on that later on this mm-hmm. morning for sure. Mm-hmm. All right, so what are we looking at today? Lots of uh, exam- exciting stuff? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, from producer says, so you know. Yes, right. Yeah. Who are we to, um, <laughs> you know, object? Exactly. <laughs> so let's get it started. Right. Yeah, man, right now. Yeah. It's time for... WTF. What the, the fact? All right, you don't want to know. The kangaroo mouse never needs to drink water. Now, despite being named after an Australian animal, the kangaroo mouse lives in the Nevada desert. And since it resides in such a dry area, it's learned to adapt by getting all the hydration it needs via the seeds it eats. This means that the kangaroo mouse never drinks water. Mm. tiny too, like a Pokemon. Really? Like never? Never. Apparently, all the hydration comes from the... the why even not find a seed mm. for shell? Do you know? That's, okay. that, that's a unique um, and dis, uh, distinctive feature. Yeah, and the Nevada <laughs> desert, and a normal place. No, so. <laughs> <laughs> going tiny. Yeah, that's 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 an interesting fact yeah, to I say mean, the very least. I mean, maybe you don't need that much yeah, water yeah. still. It would not be a lot, but yeah, I mean, but still without. It. without. Yeah, um, somehow that mm. mouse um, gets its water from from something out there. May I tell you? Yeah, them said it. Them said it. The hydration comes from the the yeah, seeds. The seed, yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, man. So maybe maybe, they, maybe they, they have a lot of seeds that they can access. Maybe. Yeah, so yeah, it keeps them hydrated. Yeah. Maybe. Mm. Can't live without water. You can't live without water. Water is life. Yeah. When last I checked. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you have some people in the shelves. Them yeah. love burn the water, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Some pe- yeah. yeah, man. When I'll... Come on. Laugh like you think yeah. I went. Yeah, man. When water is fall in a studio. We, yeah. We get our bottle of water every morning. And some yeah. of them say, yo. Remember, you know. Drink your water. Yes. <laughs> Listen, it can't drunk you. <laughs> some, some man just, just just hold the water a little bit and wait. Yeah, <laughs> treat the water like a soup. <laughs> <laughs> like how some people treat soup. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> I call no names. <laughs> and it's now time for our proverb of the day to be followed by our pet peeve of the morning. That's right, Richie. Thank you. So our proverb of the day. Cattle horn never too heavy for him to carry. Mm. Cattle mm. horn never, never too, too heavy, heavy for, for him, him to, to carry. carry. Mm. All, right. Mm. All right. So take the assessment. Mm. All right. Ready now. So ready. take the horn aspect out. Of you see the, the part that was said never too heavy for him to carry. Mm. That I give me a burden feeling. Mm. You know, that I'm a top of burden. Mm. You see me? So essentially, the much I said, there's no burden too heavy for this cattle to carry. That's why I'm going. I don't know. I don't but know. But tell shells go school, you know, and like how do not believe me. Thank you. See there? Mm-hmm. Good school too. <laughs> <laughs> Say right. The meaning mm. of this proverb, cattle are never too heavy for him to carry. Mm-hmm. Your troubles in life will never be too much to handle. Ah, see there? See there? Right on the nah, money. Right. I will say so. Me yes. know it, me know, me know. Mm. But it's true. There... <laughs> Can, we, we can I all mean, attest like to the fact that we have been through some really tough times we think we would not survive. Yeah, man. True. And here we are looking back at it. Yeah, right? You know, you know which one sweet me? When you, says, when, you, when, you, when you go through a breakup and say, yo, I don't think I can make it without you. I can't live without you. Look Never. at you, living. Living. <laughs> Look at you today. Look living. at you, surviving. <laughs> yeah. In, a, in another to relationship <laughs> too. Happy. Happy. Look at you. Yeah, man. I like this one. <laughs> Carry your horn, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
cannot. So that's our proverb <laughs> this morning. Cats are never too heavy for him to carry. The yeah. meaning, your troubles in life will never be too much to handle. Yes, sir. It's Friday, man. Enjoy yourself. Agreed. All right. So we head over to Pet Peeve. If you're just joining us here on Up and Go on the Bridge 99 FM, Pet Peeves are things that others do you that you may find annoying, mm. irritating, or even upsetting. And we have a Pet Peeve to share this morning. Good morning to the Up and Go family. Um, one All right. Hold on there. That's not the, uh, that's not the correct one. That's I'm, not the correct you know, one. I'm trying to find it. All right. So, um, yeah. It, 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 pet peeves are things that really can be qu- quite upsetting. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, you know, I, I have... I have been bothered by a few things myself in my time. No. Nope. <laughs> Never mind. No. Nope. Yeah. So, so um, you, you don't want me to mention them here, though. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah. I, I, sorry, yeah. I'm not too sure what is happening over yeah. there. Um, but know, you can't you can't solve the problem. No. From this no. But no. what yeah. I can tell you. What I can tell you is that <laughs> she can find a pet peeve right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's the same pet peeve that was going to be shared, oh, really. Yeah, oh, yeah. So this gentleman was like, listen, Jody, you know what my pet peeve is? Right. When people are fry fish, right? Uh, <laughs> well, uh, no, man. You. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. Start laughing yeah, already. Right. So, mm-hmm. so when, you, you, when you're frying fish and they try to put all of them head to tail, head to tail, head to tail, and it end up not holding properly in the pot, frying pan. Mm-hmm. He's like, it's his biggest pet peeve because that's not how you're supposed to do it. That's so, not like, that's not like OCD. That's no, it's like. not. Like, if you really want to fry the fish crisp mm-hmm. a certain way, it shells. Everything off of this summer. You have to set it a certain way. No, you can't okay. have it. So it's like head to tail, <laughs> tail to head kind of vibe. Oh. Come in by the frying pot, you know, you don't know the frying pot. You know the frying pot, yeah. You know, okay. you, no, you don't. You don't fry a fish yet. Uh, why? Pause and sit. Why? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know. <laughs> Take a prep. <laughs> no. Remember some of seafood. Mommy. Okay. It's you know, already. You know, eat fish? No, Jojo. What? <laughs> I'm, uh, you know, eat fry fish. <laughs> no, Jojo. <laughs> no, it must be an allergy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. You're excused on shells. Come on, Jojo. Yeah, that's my career. What? Yeah, that's my career. Otherwise. Not Eastern, no fry fish. Jojo. No, no, um, what him call it? What, what, look a, no, look a sprat. Jojo. No, man, you know what? I look a parrot. Jojo. No, we can't eat parrot. No, we eat parrot. That's, that's People still eat it. Oh, the parrot is a snap on me, go. I look a Ah. <laughs> come on, yeah. Michelle's man. But yeah, it's a pet peeve of mine. Another oh, pet peeve of okay. mine is persons yeah. who, um, yeah, wash up the plate, them, and the Put them up on the stove. Hello, Julian. Good morning. Oh, yeah. I'm guilty of that. <laughs> yeah, what man, is that? that? No, I put that it for soap, man. That don't make sense. It's a soap, man. <laughs> Wash the face. I treat it with Jody, a soap. <laughs> Jody, we're going to plan an event, right? Yeah. With, amongst ourselves. Mm-hmm. Oh, and we're going to make sure... Uh, we, shells has to be there. Yeah. See, you know? And we're going to make sure certain things depend on the menu. Ah, uh, uh, all right. Come and, now. And we're going to make sure him, him, him realize that the these are things that are edible. Yeah, all right. Good for we. Good for we. And good for you. Protein. <laughs> Strung up your body, yeah, man. young all man. Right. All right. <laughs> yeah. And the woman say it to the man. That's not true. That's true. <laughs> yeah, this is a real talk. Yeah. Bad oh peeves, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> And the Jamaica Gospel Star Competition TV series is produced by the Jamaica Cultural Development uh, Commission, JCDC, an agency of the Ministry of Culture, Gender, Entertainment, and Sport. This TV series first premiered in 2021 and is pretty much a rebrand of the iconic Jamaica Gospel Song Competition. Unlike its predecessor, the Gospel Star Competition takes the format of an eliminations-based television show with uh, contestants performing the cover of their favorite gospel songs in keeping with each week's theme for votes from the public and also from the judges. The, there are a number of sponsors on board. I want to get some more details from the lady who has all the info about it. In fact, she is the acting production manager. And more than that, she's the Gospel Star Coordinator at the Jamaica Cultural Development uh, Commission. We're joined this morning by Mrs. Andrea uh, Andrea Hines McCurdy. Good morning, Andrea. Welcome. How are you doing? Good morning. 
Hi, Richie. Good morning. It's early, man, but it's all good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and to think that we've been here for one hour since yeah. one hour ago. You know what I mean? Yeah, I yeah. got home a few hours ago from festival songs. So, yeah. you know, it's I know. early, but I it's know. all good. Not to worry. All right. All Last right. night was awesome. Congratulations to Sakaj. Thank you. Yes, 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 indeed. We're the winner. Yes, yeah, the, the only female in the competition. She right. came through, came strong, and she is the victor. Congratulations again. Yes, she is. Yeah, man. Indeed. Mrs. McCurdy, uh, we'd love to um, basically um, ask you, first of all, to give us a brief history of JCDC's gospel song competition and how it really has evolved over the years into what it is uh, now, so to speak. All right. So first of all, good morning to all the Bridge listeners. Thank you for joining us on the Bridge. Um, the Jamaica Gospel Song Competition started in 1987, and so we have done 30-something years, 34, 35 years thereabouts of that competition, and it has produced a whole lot of um, outstanding gospel artists that are still in the Jamaican landscape, musical landscape, and certainly for those who have traveled overseas, moved overseas, and are continuing to do well musically. And so in 2020, um, after consultation with the Honorable Minister Grange, Olivia Grange, and so on, some concerns that were were being raised is that you know, entry levels were reducing year by year, and also, you know, the concern about the quality of the songs that were coming in. And so a policy decision was made to make a switch from an original song competition to an unoriginal song, kind of like the voice on their best um, kind of vibe, um, Rising Stars, American Idol, that, that sort of format, um, and therefore encourage persons now to come and bring the talent and... Uh, what we would do is work with them each week, explore a different genre of music because in, in church circles, depending on which church circle you find yourself in, you will find that there are those who are very limited, musically excellent talent. But in terms of awareness and exposure to different genres of gospel music, they'll be a little bit limited. So the idea now was to expand them, stretch them, build out the person, build out the gift, build out the talent. And then from that now, we can train them and teach them how to write strong, original music. So we kind of just flip it around and begin to work on the person and then from mm -hmm. that the, the, the excellent songs will come all right and here we are year two of gospel star yeah nice. so um w is it gaining the kind of traction that you'd you'd have liked uh um you know in in the marketplace how, how well are people responding to this format well this is our second year in last it was kind of a shocker a jerker persons were trying to understand the new thing. There are those who are saying, boy, no, we wish miss the original song. And there are those who still miss the original song format. And we do because we've been doing it for so long and we understand um, the loyalty to it. But then there's a whole fresh set of eyes and ears that we were not tapping into before. Um, and the, and the, the finalists, the contestants are themselves bringing out their own people that, you know, is now bringing new eyes, fresh ears, and fresh perspectives, a fresh audience. And so we're very grateful for that. Um, certainly over the weeks, our viewership has increased steadily. And so um, this is looking good for us in terms of where we are. We're two years in, but we're improving week after week. And for that, we're so grateful. All right. Greetings once again, Mrs. McCurdy. Shell's here. Um, hi. hi. How are you doing? All right. So well, what can viewers expect um, on Saturday night's um, finale? All right, so for Saturday night's finale, the finalists, we have a top five that is less the week after week persons are voting. Um, and because it's just a short three week performance period leading up to the week four, the finale show, we have had to just really make the chop with some really heavy chops. So, like you lose three people mm -hmm. for the first two weeks coming into week three. But then there's a feature on the other. Other persons call it the wild card. Because, you know, we're good God Christian people. We call it saved by grace. Same concept. Mm -hmm. And so we stayed one out. The judges were able to save mm -hmm. one out of the six that were eliminated. And so we're at the top five that will be performing this weekend. Um, 
songs that they would have already done in the competition that they enjoyed and perhaps were strong performances. And so they will each get a chance to do one of it, um, of them this week. All 10 will be back doing an, a fabulous opening number along with their rehearsal coach, um, the very, very powerful Latoya HD, gospel artist, singer, songwriter, producer. Uh, she was brought on this year to be the rehearsal coach to take them through their paces for this year's competition. And so they do an opening number with her. And each of the five will get a chance to produce, to perform rather one of their favorites from the competition. And then we will unveil who would have received the highest votes from the judges and from the public. And also the featuring um, relatively new but strong gospel sensation Petra K. Oh. Our guest artist is here. All right. Nice. What, what, what kind of prizes are the are the contestants going after? Yeah. Richard they goes after one million dollars in wow. cash. Wow. Ooh. One. I'm just That's saying. That's a lot of money. My wish. I, oh, yeah. oh, how I wish I was not an employee yeah. at this point. Um, are you taking yeah. late entries? <laughs> I wish so there's a million dollar cash prize second place will get half a million and third place will get quarter a million so there's still something you know each of the each of the ten will walk away with gift baskets and um plaques and, and different different things you know just for themselves being in the competition and so on from the different sponsors and so on but certainly they're going after a million dollars in cash and i'm telling you they are working so hard because they want it ah, lovely lovely mm-hmm. and and where can the public go and see go to see the final the finale uh, and is there still time to vote so voting ends at midday today. So when oh. I tell you that you've got to get your act together <laughs> and get voting fast, when I say get your act together, get your act together f- quick, 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 mm-hmm. because voting closes at midday today. Head to the JCDC YouTube page if you want to see the previous performance um, weeks so you can make your mind up about who you think is worthy to get your money. See? So you make it a good investment. Um, JCDC Jamaica will, will be showing this live there. It will also be live on PBCJ, all, Jama- all JCDC, Facebook and YouTube um, social media pages, and on PBCJ Live. All right. And Love TV, Love FM Radio, Melo TV. All right. All right. Now, um, and, and once, once the winner is declared, uh, that is when they're going to now move into production mode on, on, their, on their first single, I suspect, on right? their first single. And we'll also be featuring, Richie, the, fir- the winner from last year who is about to drop her first single. Amazing, the very first gospel star. Excellent, excellent voice and um, beautiful young lady. She's actually, she turned 19 since. Oh. And um, she has an amazing song. The, the process was 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 um, was so interesting working through with her because she's so very creative. So mm-hmm. pulling her ideas together along with the production team and everything, we have a good thing coming at you on Saturday night. So yeah. She's going to be unveiling her single. We right. thank you for all the work that yourself and your team are putting in uh, to make this competition happen, and especially in this very important year of our um, um, our existence, yeah, mm-hmm. our 60th yeah. anniversary of independence. Yes. So thank, thank you, you very much, Andrea Heinz McCurdy, for talking with us, and good luck uh, with, with the rest of the competition. Good luck also to the uh, finalists who are going after the $1 million prize. All the best. Great thank talking you with you, so and much, have a good day. Great talking to you, too. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank, thank you. you. Andrea Heinz McCurdy, acting production manager and uh, the coordinator uh, for the gospel star, the J- gospel star competition, competition That's right. um, out of the JCDC. And it's now time for us to head up to uh, Toronto, Canada for the Canadian connection with Bridge 99 FM and uh, for Low 98.7 FM. Yeah. And we say good morning to Red. Good morning you to said Red. That's so good. Oh yeah. <laughs> Say it again, Flow ninety eight seven. Oh, Flow ninety eight seven FM. <laughs> said it in unison. Yeah. Yeah. So good. Should yeah. we say bridge 99 in unison? Yes, I'd love to hear it. As a matter of fact, reciprocate, not. please. <laughs> that's not. One, two, three, Freddie Reds, go. Bridge ninety nine. Nah, we we that said that's sucked. so Canadian. Yeah, that's no good at all. Let's <laughs> <do> <laughs> <that>. Captured. <laughs> Stored. And we'll be reused as time progresses. Good morning, guys. How are you doing? Well, uh, right now it's a sunglasses and uh, Advil kind of day. 
Yeah. Because last night, Ritz and I were out, not at the same place, but oh. Carnival Weekend has kicked off, and let's just say it is crazy. We're equally mashed up, though, I'll tell you that much. Wow. Who's mashed up more? You. <laughs> Come on. We're not, not going to tell them what happened yeah. behind the scenes no, in the but bathroom? No, let's, let's just say mm. that. I was what? praying to the porcelain <laughs> god. I uh, know, not oh. with him. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Red's red, red saying nowadays. I know. You know what it is, Richie? Tell I tried me. not to drink, uh-huh. so I did like a spritzer. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about, you know, where it's like, you know, bubbly. and The problem is the bubbly. It's like a science project. Uh. <laughs> and then they had Caribbean Eats. Let me not talk about it. But, mm-hmm. yeah, so I'm okay now. I'm sipping my water and mm-hmm. minding my business. That's right. But, R- Richie, I have to tell you, I have a very special guest in the building with you us do? right now. In the studio. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to give Stop you da-na-na. a hint. So let's bring it down low, the All music. Right. Yeah. So tell me if you recognize this voice. Put your hand in the air, what me your mouth and help me show down Jehovah. Put your hand in the air, and what me your mouth and help me show down Jehovah. We praise Him forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. Amen. Let me and Richie be our friend. That's a word hey, you play. This is a very, like a very, like very, very, very. Pleasant surprise. Wow. <laughs> Stitch it. Yes, Richie. <laughs> <laughs> it's well overdue till it all I've milled you. That television. Yeah. Hey, hey, Red, do you do you even know and Ritz Ritz, I'm sure you do. You of the, 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 the the quality, the standard, the respect that that brother has in the music industry, the achievements, the accomplishments, and what he continues to do. You got a big star right there with you. Mm. Yeah. Big star, big round of applause, <laughs> Lieutenant Stitchy. Wow. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Good vibes. It's a pleasure for me as well. Good vibes, yeah. Right now we're on, we're looking at you. Um, <laughs> we're watching the Bridge 99 FM.com. So if you want to see Lieutenant Stitchy and Richie, yeah. they kind of rhyme. <laughs> and you guys have a lot in common. You're born yeah. on, you're born in the same month. You both well, told me that. Well, uh, How do you not, know that? It's not just the same month. What? It's the best month of the oh, year. Oh, thank you, sir. Been thank for you. That month, oh. it would not have been a year. <laughs> Let me oh. show you why. Let me give why? you empirical evidence. Explain it to them, Stitchy. It. Mm. It's the ninth month of the year. Okay. And it has nine letters spelling it. Wow. It's the only month that is like that. Really? Yeah. I never even. September. Oh, wait a minute. A P R I L. It's not. It's not. He's right. It's He's right. right. Yeah, it's right. yeah. And you have more and to tell them, right? And it's the it's the month that Christ was born. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Really? I'm trying to tell you all this time. I thought it was supposed to be April. Wink, wink. Yeah, I think Capel Tenor yeah, says yeah, like, because yeah, yeah. they're both Aries. That's they told okay. me that. That's okay. We know that you're not perfect. Told me that. We, we know you're not perfect, so you're allowed to make it. No! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Now I see why they call you Stitchy. Uh, no, 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 no. Let let him demonstrate why they call him Stitchy. Because somebody okay. just somebody just messaged me a while ago, and I like, is that really Stitchy? Mm. If, if he goes into anything like resembles one of his fast raps, the entire world would know that Stitchy is in the building. So Stitchy, oh. get him something from an abridgment right away. I wouldn't try to do that. Nope, not even if they paid me a million dollars. He wouldn't try it. Even may I read the lyrics. Canadian. You, you choke on your tongue. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd lose my tongue. <laughs> yeah, wow. Stitch, don't try this at home. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Stitchy has a lot of accomplishments, man. So, Stitchy, it's good to have you on the program. We know that uh, many of our listeners would remember you from the uh, from the early days through the dance hall uh, era. Yourself and Papa Sound were out there on the grind, doing it and doing it good. And then you uh, you got baptized, accepted the Lord as your personal savior, and now you you are a minister. You are doing a lot of motivational work. What what's wow. late? What's the latest for you, bro? Well, I'm here for today, mm-hmm. right? Um, for this weekend at the Garden State Arena. Yeah. Okay. Our location where we're gonna be, you know, um, honoring the life of Denise. 
know. Jones. Oh, um, yes. well-known yes. promoter, former promoter, yeah. Yes, yes you know, um, the last time I was here, um, it was her doing, in, you know, um, providing us the platform to support and to further big up reggae and the dance hall, mm -hmm. you know, and we did a tour. That was, and I was here with Tiger and, and, and Pinchers. Wow. wow. And that was special to me because, you know, it's not a regular route that Tiger would be on an event. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I was very, very honored to be there to offer that support. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And to see that Tiger did, do his thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. In a real Tiger style. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Wap, wap. Yeah. yeah. Wap, wap, wap. You know, you know? He, he's been whapping long before Skilly Bang. Skilly Bang. Okay. That. Tiger's the original. <laughs> yeah. 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 Original taking me back to my Barbados days. Now I feel, I feel horrible talking about being uh, hung over in front of this minister. <laughs> no, he'll pray. I feel bad. He'll pray for you. Don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah no I feel. Worry. Yeah, can you pray for me, please? Yes. I, feel, I, I swear pray, I'm you know. a good person. Fast and pray. I swear I'm a good yeah, person. Yeah. Carabana yeah. is all—it's all about Carabana this weekend, right? Yeah, yes. we we call it Toronto Carnival now, though oh, officially. Oh, oh okay, oh. okay. <laughs> so Stitcher, you're going to be um, making an appearance, you said, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, so uh -huh. um, I'm looking forward to that happening on the third first. Yeah. And um, there are going to be a whole set of artists here. I'm going to be seeing some of my friends that I haven't seen for the longest while, like you know. Tanya Mullins, she will be there. Hi, nice. Tanya. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Tanya. Yeah, that's my that's my Tanya's sister. Tanya's here ever. as well. Yeah, that's on, on flow on the weekends. Fantabulous, fantabulous. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kirk yeah. Diamond will be there as well too. Nice you know, too. A, a, a hardcore band, you know, is a is a is a whole connection, you know, a whole connection, especially after the pandemic. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> which 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 kind of kept us apart from each other. No wonder you're my brethren and we haven't even seen each other in such a long time. Yeah, but that that's gonna change. Yeah, it has. This to. is just the, this is just the intro of the greater things to come. Yeah, you know what I nice. mean. Stitch it. And um, go ahead, yeah. go ahead, bro. I'm also in the studio. You know, I've been in the studio putting in, putting putting the, together some work. You know, from a new project because the last one that I released, Masterclass, was the album of the year at the Can, Can Award. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Yeah. For 2021. Wow. Yeah. So that's Respect. a major accomplishment. Respect, man. Stitch, you know I mean? Stitch, there's an annual event that for several years you were one of the most anticipated acts to actually make an appearance on it. And I was yeah. working the stage at Reggae Sumfest on Saturday night and a young man by the name of Joel Leng and Juliet approached me and they said, uh, Isaiah uh, wants me to know and uh, kindly make an announcement that Sting will be returning this year on December 26, and it will be at Grizzlies Plantation uh, uh, Cove in Ocho Rio, St. Anne. You have okay. been on that stage uh, mm -hmm. several years over and were in a master class, a class by yourself, and you have won several victories on that stage. Uh, wh what are you thinking might happen uh, at this, uh, on the return of Sting? And, and, and what would you say to artists in terms of how they should approach um, an appearance on such an event? Well, the first thing that I would say is that the organizers, you know, are uh, um, maybe feeling intoxicated, like she, like she, uh, they're having a hangover, <laughs> like she just expressed. Wow. Yeah. Because uh, I've not, I've, I've not yet received the invitation, wow. But, wow. But, but I know it's on its way. Yes. Yeah, and I want to speak prophetically in that way. Right. Yeah. And if you, if you notice, you say also Leng. Yes. Joel Leng. And just talk about Isaiah Leng. Yes. You know, my, my name is Cleve Leng, just for, ah. just for the information. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So maybe you can work out the equation and, and, and you know, get the maths right. You know? <laughs> you know, I can't even work out an equation right now. <laughs> Simul let's, let's use the simultaneous equation so we have to work both sides at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, like, get right. Right. Yo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a platform that has, has been contributing to the business in a real serious way. You know, just be original. Just be original. Yeah. Let yeah. me say it again. Just be original. Yeah. You know what I mean? And just be an artist because I find, you know, that's, it's very sad to say, but it's just the truth. And I can't put it up. You know, some of them operating not like artists, but like arthritis. <laughs> See? And, and that brings pain to the business. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? They don't right. present a show anymore. You know, everybody go on track and they uh, go on stage and they mime. Mm -hmm. And there is no real performance at the real, the real delivery. Yeah. And it is sad that the promoters are sometimes leaving out those of us who can deliver life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they are giving mediocrity basically to the audience. Mm -hmm. I would hope that change. That and I'm not change. going to be speaking uh, um, 
in a, in a tone for anyone to be getting a pat on their shoulder for for the mediocrity that they're doing because like myself we have contributed a lot to dancehall music and to the development of it and to see um how it is slowly being eroded you know in, into this kind of a thing I, i'm not pleased with it richie mm -hmm. tell it straight mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. they need to get to the real artists and not to the arthritis yes hmm. yeah we heard it loud and clear <laughs> stitchy hey, hey governor um i yeah. just got a message <laughs> while the news was being read and it's one of the directors of uh, Supreme Promotions. All I heard uh, as a voice note was, tell Stitchy don't say another word. See there? <laughs> <laughs> Listen out for a call. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I just heard on my phone. I'm just passing it on, bro. <laughs> All right. Are you not adding nothing to it? You're not taking away no, from it? You're not, not into maths class at not all? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but it's really good to catch up with Stitchy. Um, Stitchy, when you're doing interviews like these and people, you know, like DJs uh, are getting requests for some of your songs from back in the day, um, mm -hmm. it, how do you feel about them being played whilst you're on that program, for instance? Not a problem, you know, because okay. we, we, never, we never left out our lyrics book, and we're always, this is a part of my catalog, this is who I am. Well, this I, is how I've been made. Respect. This I, is how the Lord allowed it to be so. Exactly. You know, and and if you if if you if you can remember and take it as far back as whenever there has never been a Ludi song coming from Stitchy in at all. I've always been a clean guy operating on that platform, and yeah. I believe in that. I don't believe that we should now have uh, uh, um, blue movies on stage because that's what I'm seeing happening now. <laughs> in mm -hmm. dance hall mm -hmm. you know what i mean yeah. and this is not good for our music that is not us you know what i mean no way may i hear some songs and some rhythms you know um yeah may, may, may embrace the newness and the creativity but not stupidity yeah. and i think it's sometimes it go beyond that you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in terms of how it operate and yeah. i would like to i would like to see our music and the authenticity of it and the growth of it expanded in a real in a real way mm -hmm. you know what i mean we're hearing you loud and clear, and what you're saying needs to be said. I want to say good morning to Nicola uh, over there in, uh, I think, in Markham in Toronto, Canada. And I'm getting messages all across the world, Stitchy. New York is sending us messages. We love Stitchy. We still the underwork, and we still believe in what we're doing, and we're still pushing it forward. You know, and we believe in our Jamaican culture, and we're not going to give up our dance hall culture and allow it to go to rubble. You know what I mean? You know this is that we think you're not normal. You know this is that we think you're not normal. Richie B. You know this is that we think you're not normal. You know this is that we think you're not normal. Take it up the scales. No, this is that we think you're not normal. You know this is that we think you're not normal. A little bit higher. No, this is that we think you're not normal. You know this is that we think you're not normal. Calm down. Ain't no repentance in the grave. I will repeat ten times. But if the rhythm you done, just press and click rewind. But the chorus I will not repeat one more time. Written in inverted commas. Ready underline i say yeah we may bless your name every time forgive me cause me now nah, repeat the punchline people hum the chorus and bear this in my season for everything to kill knows the time but the word that me no need because i'm straight blind the word that got me use and beat them put them in a line i rebuke your demonic behavior stay behind your evil lost tongue and your job won't me bind your radical and circumcised philistine full of demon go and go join yourself and see like this i no medication no day of it cure your bad mind i know so god Make your butt over time, you redesign plastic surgery. Can't help Frankenstein to reflect all your image. The mirror them decline. Your pitch of ugliness gone viral online. I dare you feel ugly just one more time. Ah, pa, pa. Pola. Yo. <laughs> the wow. metal, the metal of the man. He Don't has, know. he changeth Don't. not. And Crazy. like fine wine, and the Frankenstein, he improves you with had time. On, you had me on a journey. <laughs> yeah. You had me in a story. I was listening. I was locked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, Richie. Standing yeah. up. We got to yeah. give it up to you. Legendary. Thank you. Legendary. Yeah, exclusively. Lieutenant. Yes, sir. Exclusively. exclusively. Stitchy. Sorry. Uh. Richie and Stitchy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you guys sound like, like a crew. <laughs> oh, we go way back, man. Yeah, and trust yeah, me, yeah. Uh, Stitchy is one of the brothers that I, ha I hold in very high esteem and have a lot of respect for. Uh, from his, uh, his talent and also what he brings to the game, you know what I mean? Because uh, we need people like these in the industry for a okay. very long time. Mm -hmm. So big up yeah, yourself, Stitchy. You yes, brother. If you look carefully, sis, you will see that there's some resemblance <laughs> with myself and Richie because right. um, yeah. it's not that we're bald. I know, but, that's but we're, we're follically challenged. <laughs> 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 He 
he had to go there. Both good looking. Frolic on the challenge. What is that? That's Virgo. No, you guys are on the Libra. Kind of on you're on your yeah. Libra. Yeah. Richie's yeah. Virgo. But still September. Still September. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the binding still force. <laughs> bang, bang. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh Stitchy wow. Stitchy, you have preempted me into into the trek into Toronto though, because um Red and Ritz and uh, Anthony Cruz and Cairo McLean and and uh, Rad Dixon and a host of others will be celebrating my birthday in Toronto on the 18th of September mm -hmm. at a place called the Central Bar and Grilled on Lawrence Avenue. So I, okay. I, I wanted you to just set the pace so that when I get there in September, they'll, they'll be all ready for me. All right, sir? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're uh -huh. going to do that. Let me do that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and let me first start them with a prayer. Yes. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we come to you today to ask for your forgiveness from all we dirty ways, to seek your direction and your guidance yet today. Cause through disobedience we have all gone astray. Your words say woe to those who call evil good, but that's exactly what we have done and not the things you say we should. We have lost our spiritual equilibrium. Reverse all your values and your principles to ground. Yes, Lord, we're guilty. Heavenly Father, look down and have mercy. Hey, Richie, be tell them you're plenty. And we all fall short of your glory. Richie, be tell them we're guilty. Heavenly Father, look down and have mercy. Don't the life we live with plenty. And we all fall short of your glory. We have told lies and we call it news. We have hearty eyes, Lord, we are cruel and fused. We have committed murder and call it war. Those of us who abuse drugs, we call superstar. Amongst your people, we have created division. Then point fingers in the name of religion by professing to be wise. We have become fools. We build more prisons instead of schools. Richie B, tell them we're guilty. Heavenly Father, look down and have mercy. Hey, don't tell life we live with plenty. And we all fall short of your glory. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah. Let the church amen. say amen. Amen. Uh, amen. 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 Yeah. More blessings and long life and excellent health and strength to you, Richie. Give thanks, Stitchy. Give mm. thanks, Stitchy. Thanks, bro. And uh, good luck with your performances uh, this weekend inside of uh, Toronto and all the other things that you have uh, ahead of you, including the upcoming project that I'm sure you'll find me and allow me to get some uh, some of the tracks yes. early. Right, sir? Yes. Yes, we do that. Yeah. We start out that straight. Red, it was a blessing having him this morning. Thank you for Thank making you. it happen. Thank you also to Thank Ritz. You. And you guys go on to have a great weekend. I know that you're um, you're still going back out tonight, right, Red? Yes, sir. <laughs> tonight is work, okay? Yeah. Party, yeah. Saturday, Sunday, and a few after parties, and yeah. a few, you know, but well, it's la pace. Well, la well, last night was the hang. Yeah. And mm -hmm. tonight was the over. Ah. <laughs> uh, have a great day, Stitchy, guys. Well, one yeah. sec. Uh, Stitchy, your Instagram, please. It's LT dot underscore Stitchy. I got it right here. So I want okay. to share it with everybody yeah. listening right now. Thank you so much for blessing us this morning. Blessings. Good vibes. Every Boom time. 98 7. Bridge, Bridge 99, of course. That was a nice uh, vibe there with <laughs> Lute. With, he's, he's now simply called Stitchy, Stitchy by the way. Yeah. He takes off the uh, lieutenant Listen. and he's uh, definitely on a mission yeah. for the Almighty. Yeah. And uh, my, my, no matter have lyrics for killed or Listen, yeah. trust Stitchy me. Stitchy sound like. Let me tell you. Hmm? So like, it's amazing, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, the man sound like, y y you know, him just start this thing, like you know? Him, like him hungry for all of yeah. us right now. Yeah. I Yo, like you, 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 Bridge Nation, you, you listen to the man spitting lyrics left. Mm -hmm. And the clarity. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. He's got the pace, but mm. he also has the clarity. Yeah, I agree. What? And the lyrics make a lot of sense. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's not just rhyming, but mm -hmm. intelligence. Uh, coming through, you know what I mean? Yeah. Listen, mm -hmm. Richie, I'm standing over here and I'm like, me, I listen, I'm listening to Stitchy and I'm like, li listen to this DJ, yeah, brother. Yeah. Awesome, awesome talent. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a very interesting and very special uh, gentleman in the, in, the, in the studio to talk to all of his, uh, his, his fans and our Bridge Nation, of course. He caught the attention of many with his love for country music. And uh, he just uh, is coming off of a fantastic performance, uh, debut performance for him at Reggae Sumfest 2022. But let's go back to two years ago, Shells. Mm -hmm. In 2020, this gentleman celebrated his debut um, album entitled Looking Back. 
And I remember when I got it, I was like, hey, this is a Jamaican doing this kind of music. <laughs> it caught my attention. I heard songs like Poor Country Boy, um, you know, uh, and, and many others. Um, a winner, I think, is one of the titles and so on. That, that album has done very well for him. And uh, he's now on an up and up because coming off of his Sumfest some appearance, yeah. there are a lot of people who feel that he might have been the best dressed entertainer on that event. Yeah. So uh -huh. he's in the studio right now. We'll yeah. be talking about that and much more. Yeah. Let's welcome West Rock. West Rock is the building. Well, go on. Uh, you know who's West Rock. The best rock. <laughs> That is it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I could I couldn't have said that. Uh -uh. <laughs> Not like you did. <laughs> yeah. Um the only concern that we had um yeah. when we saw that you were invited to the studio yes. is whether or not you were gonna wear the broad brimmed hat <laughs> yes. and whether or not we might have to transfigure or or, or change up the place. I never disappoint you. No, <laughs> you, you, yeah, you I never do yeah. disappoint the fans. Yeah. <laughs> no. uh, but 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 the, the, the outfit and the, the yes. it brings out what you're into, the music that you're of into, course. which is country. You know, your presentation is key, you know, yeah. um, in everything you do. And that's what West Rock is all about, you know. I have to give the look that the people want. Right. You know, yeah. so I never disappoint the people. Never disappoint. Yes. No. Um, why country, though? Why reggae country, <laughs> West yeah. Rock? Well, you know, um, if I should say, make a statement, the world, you know, is going country. Because country is really um, about your life, you know, that story about your life, you know, and uh, most Jamaicans and persons within the Western hemisphere in particular, you know, grew up on country music, you know, um, I grew up listening to country music and um, I realized that, you know, um, um, since the pandemic, um, the, the world need a change in, in music, you know, um, it is becoming a little bit monotonous, you know, and um, what I find is that, um, West Rock have to come up with something, you know. So during the pandemic, I decided to do music. Mm -hmm. And of course, I have that country vibe mm -hmm. from growing up. I have the sound, I have the look, I have everything. So basically, I just touched the country with the reggae. <laughs> and believe you, um, the first time I went in studio and I did it, you know, um, someone saw me in the studio, I came out, out um, I don't know if he was in a, a state of shock or what. <laughs> he said, listen, man. I thought it was Ro Marty Robin in the street. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, you know, um, I, you know, when I did my first song, um, Looking Back, mm -hmm. you know, I really didn't look back. Yeah, you yeah. haven't looked back and no. so many successes a few years later. Yes. Because uh, when you check it, it's really not a long time that he has yeah. been in the game. Yeah. But right now you're an easily recognizable easily. name and, uh, and, and very much a standout performer. I have mm -hmm. to give thanks for that. Yeah, yeah. man. Um, and you've, one of the things you've also done is you've also collaborated a lot with the younger generation. The younger so you're capturing their mm -hmm. audiences while also um, indulging them in your own style. Of course, mm -hmm. you know, um, music is a business, you know. We have to look at ways and means of how to get out there, you know. So when I collab with an artist like Massacre and mm -hmm. Lali, mm -hmm. it's actually, you know, going into their fan base and sharing my fan base with yeah. them. So it's a win-win situation for yeah. all of us. Absolutely. Wow. Yes. No, no, West Rock, my, I'm curious. You know, you know, Richie asks about, you know, why country and why yes. the fusion with reggae and country. Were you yes. concerned at all that persons may not have, you know, would take it seriously? When, you know, when you took that role, were you concerned about that at all? Um, of course, you know, I like challenges. My mm -hmm. life has always been characterized by challenges, you know, and I like to be unique. I like to be different. Yes, there were some concerns, mm -hmm. but I know the message in my music is what people are going to want to listen to. And as I said, I realized that people were just tired of hearing one thing. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they, they need um, to hear something different. That's what I present, you know, mm -hmm. a message with a difference. I like that. You, you would have done your research too, I'm sure. Yes. And, and uh, I don't think a lot of our listeners necessarily know this, but country music is maybe amongst the biggest selling oh, music yes. worldwide. So yeah. you'll understand. Outselling pop artists many times mm -hmm. over. Yes. So when I say music is a business, um, yeah. don't misunderstand me. Apart from the message that I want to get out there, you know, I certainly would like to make some money in doing so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and um, making money is not, is not just for myself. I really want to be able to can help people. Because mm -hmm. I start doing that in the, my neck of the woods, you know. Yeah. And the more I get is the more I will be able to share. Yeah. That's yeah. what it's all about. Mm -hmm. You know, sharing the love. Yeah. Um, 
are there any other collaborations to come mm. that uh, you can uh, give us a little sneak peek on in terms of mentioning names or or anything that we can look forward to in that regard? Well, um, you know, the bridge will be the first that probably I would say this on is that I have an up upcoming album, yes. um, which is scheduled to drop early next year. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we have a collab with Busy Signal on that one. Wow. I have wow. a collab with Lucian on that one. Wicked. You know, and who mm -hmm. knows, you know. Um, but it's good that people are knowing who's West Rock. Yeah. And I find interestingly that the wheel has turned. Now people mm -hmm. want to yeah. collab with me. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? You're you're in a, a lane by yourself, by almost myself. in a class by yourself. Yes. And you're making serious inroads. And I'm really happy for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, what is your vibe right now? Are you satisfied with your the return on your investment, your investment, the connection you're making with the fan base? Where are you at in terms of your own mind? Well, well, put it this way, um, Richie, um, the future is great for West Rock. When I see persons like Dolly Partner, you know, coming to do country reggae, you know, um, before it was reggae country, mm -hmm. and West Rock is doing country reggae, it speaks volume in terms of the investment, you know, for mm -hmm. the future. Yeah. So I, I might not get in the returns now, but the satisfaction is right there, you know. Um, what, when I do music, I decide to do music for life, mm -hmm. you know. As I said, it's the message that I really want to send. Mm -hmm. And um, I really wanted to be a preacher from mm -hmm. a, from an earlier day. Okay. Now I'm able to send the message through another medium, which is music. You know, it's West Rock. Uh -uh. <laughs> uh -uh. Tell, us a, tell us a little <laughs> bit about um, the Hummingbird bird song that you came out with. Well, you know, that's a very controversial song. Mm. Controversial in the sense that, you know, um, it was to be a part of the... Um, the um, festival, song. festival song competition. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it was let go into the wider domain, which is a win-win situation for me because now we let go the bird, the people are going crazy. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's Satan's comes alive um, mm -hmm. Sunday yeah. when West Rock will be in live in performance. Where's that? that? Um, Emancipation Jubilee okay. at the Civil Heights. You oh. know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's, that's an all night affair. Yeah. You know, a cultural thing for Jamaica 60. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you definitely will be performing this I song. Definitely <laughs> will be doing this song. You well, know? What happens beyond that? Yes, you're working on an album. What about performances? Others to come? Are you are you getting into the country side of the US or any other market mm -hmm. like that well, anytime soon? Well, believe me, um, after some fest, yeah. you know, I, I'm booked for the rest of the year. Give wow. thanks. Um, Give thanks, man. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Monday coming, I'll be at the Mansi Fest. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You know, that, that's the two most up, um, closest one now. Mm -hmm. yes. So I'll tell you, you know, I have to make a schedule. You know, my mm -hmm. secretary is busy. <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> yeah, give thanks to the fans, you know, and big up, you know. Management in the building. Uh -huh. <laughs> West Rock, it's good to see you. Yeah, yes. We're, we're happy for what's happening with your career. And yes. uh, keep the music flowing. Remember, you made a promise this morning that yes. uh, we'll, we'll get a chance first to uh, air uh, some of those collabs with uh, Busy and uh, yes. Luz, Luciano. Luciano and so on. Yes. I know you'll keep your promise, but uh, good wishes going forward. What do you want to say to your fans and where can they find you on social media? Well, you know, it's W-E-S-R-O-K, West Rock Music. You know, you can find me right there. And on Twitter, it's West Rock 876 you know, and um, I just want to say to the fans, you know, I, I, I feel inspired. Although I'm trying to inspire the world, you are also inspiring me by listening to my songs. So I want you to make sure that you follow me on Instagram, you know, Facebook, YouTube. I have a video that is that has dropped yesterday, The Omen Bird. You go and check that one out. It's <laughs> crazy. Uh-oh, West Rock. Um, we have a very special yeah, guest who will be joining us uh, in this segment. Um, we're talking mm -hmm. about a Jamaican, uh, a West Indian, an international okay. cricketer, um, a, a record mm. breaker, and yeah. uh, more than that, the universe boss. Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh, I said, the, 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 uh, and the universe boss, and yeah. you know, he's yeah, actually man. entering the studio on cue. Oh, yes, because sir. just as I yeah. his name... Ba, ba, ba. The man is inside here, and we'll be talking with him momentarily. So it's going to be a good look and a good sound when he steps in uh, and takes up that microphone. All right, boss? All right, sounds good to me. <laughs> you don't believe me? All right. If you don't That's believe right. me, if you don't believe me, he's going to take a seat right now and just simply say. We don't tell lies here. Yeah, we don't tell lies. Come on, man. We're just going to allow him to say good morning to you, DJ Roy, over there in New York City Trouble right there. now. Chris Gale is in the building, and yeah. uh, his microphone is right to his right, and he's going to say good morning to DJ Roy right now. DJ. <laughs> 
Blessed morning Chris, to each and Chris. everyone. Blessed morning. Blessed morning. <laughs> what's up? What's up? Chris, what's up? Big, big respect. We're not going to start the interview yet, but what I'm going to tell you now? Yeah. Me need my dub plate them. Yes, uh, sir. All right. Don't say party. Don't say party. Right away. Right away. Yeah, man. Right away. Yeah. And, and Chris, we're not trying to set you up because normally at least a few seconds would pass where the guests would sit and we'd shake hands and say, welcome. Yeah. Have a seat. And so, well, you walked right into it. Yeah. So uh, forgive us for, for putting you right on just like that. <laughs> no problem. No problem. <laughs> Always be prepared. That's I know right. that. I That's know right. that. You are the universe boss, so Absolutely, always man. prepared. Always expect the unexpected. Yeah, man. Our yeah, guest, yeah, of yeah. course, is Jamaica's expect. newly appointed ambassador, yeah. Chris Gale, one of Jamaica's star athletes, and he'll be assisting the Minister of Tourism to promote Jamaica, especially in the Asian market, where, I don't know, Chris, but uh, your name is large in know, the no, Asian market. Yes, on that, on that side of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah, dominate yeah. in those areas. Dominate, yeah. dominate, you know? <laughs> you know, the subcontinent, it's ab absolutely phenomenal. You know, yeah. I've been traveling to those parts of the world for years now, you know, mm -hmm. more than over 10 years. Yeah. yeah. You know, so it's really a pleasure to actually, you know, spread the country on that side of the world. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, try and bring them over to this part of the world mm -hmm. in where it's actually yeah. in Jamaica as well. So, yeah. yeah. And immerse them into our culture. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to give them a Jamaican, you know, side of things and yeah. the feeling yeah. of the vibes and yeah. our culture. Uh, we'll just spread it. You yeah, know, man, as we go yeah, we'll just spread it as we go along. There are a lot of things I want to be talking to you about this morning, but uh, many people are expecting us to ask, and I'm sure <laughs> that you might be expecting us to ask as well. What's up with cricket right now for Chris <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's asking what's up with cricket. Um, yeah. I'm still playing. I'm still active. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I have a tournament, um, the 24th till the 28th um, August, which is next month pretty much. Mm -hmm. um, it's a new league. They call it 60. Yes. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's going to be in St. Kitts. Okay. Um, I'm the ambassador for the league as well. Oh, fantastic. Oh. Um, the trophies, they actually call the trophy the Universe Boss Trophy. Okay. Wow. So, you know, you're going to hurt it, So, you know, it's a good look. So I'm yeah. really looking forward to it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people are excited to actually see Chris Gale back on the field as well. So yeah. mm -hmm. I will be taking part in that tournament. And then you have the CPL after that as well. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot happening, you know, but not so much from a cricketing point of view, you know, yeah. you know yeah. as you know, I'm more on the music, music side of things. Yes, yeah, yes, but yes. I still play when I can, you mm -hmm. know, but, you know, the people want to see Chris Gale still on the field. The so. wall away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, now, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Man. Yeah, that is fantastic to hear. So that's a new competition that we can look forward to. The What do you call it? The 60? 60, yeah. It's, uh -huh. a, it's a new league. It's a okay. new league. It's, you know, it's T10, but I say it's 60. But it's yeah, 60 yeah. delivery, 60 balls, I should say. Mm. All right, really? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, yeah. Oh, can you imagine? Um... Now, 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 Chris, um, you, you, you're, you've, you've, you've stepped into music. It's not like you're dabbling into music. It, uh -huh. I get the feeling that you're deeply involved in music. How deep are you in terms I'm, of music? I'm, I'm very deep because, um, you know, actually, I built my own studio at my oh. house. You know, oh. that, that goes to show how serious I'm taking this mm -hmm. music thing because, mm -hmm. you know, it's a lot of money I actually invested so far in the music industry. And I know the music thing kind of... You know, it can be have a lot of twist and turn, mm -hmm. but you know, I invest in it because I, I, I get to the, that sort of passion. Mm -hmm. um, from I did the first song with Style, just say, Yo, this thing is nice, you mm -hmm. know. So, wow. why not invest in it? And then I start my own label, Triple Cent Records. And you know, pretty much I'm looking to sign out even artists underneath my label, okay. um, producer as well. Mm -hmm. You know, so it, it's, it's a great look. It's been mm -hmm. what two years now mm -hmm. um, since I started it, and um, I'm just excited about it actually. Yeah. So yes, I'm spreading my wings yeah, yeah. Um, on the music side of things. You know, I've done a lot of collabs as well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's been great so far, and I'm really and truly enjoying it. I don't know mm -hmm. if Jamaicans are aware of, of some of the successes that Chris has had overseas. I think you did a collab with an with an Indian artist or two. Yeah, I did a collab with Emiway. <laughs> yeah, you know, Emiway Banta is a rap rapper um, mm -hmm. in India, and you know, like I said, that was phenomenal. Went to number one. So yeah, yeah. Just get into just just getting into music and. Actually, get my first one. number one as there well. You, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm sure it's a like well, over 55 million views now on YouTube. I mm. saw it, Chris. You know, so yeah, that's a great look. And I've done another collaboration with Avina, um, uh -huh. but she's from the UK. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's a great one as well. I am. Um, it's called the Groove. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, it's been 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 great. And my yeah. local artists are, are for sure. You know, I done one with um. Tanto Blacks, you know, we yeah. come out for oh, party. Yeah, <laughs> and that was produced by Kurt Riley as well. Let me tell you, man, it's not like you're trying to DJ or to sing. You, 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 you're you, a talented um, <laughs> uh, artist. I have to say that to your face. I but, tried, you know, but you know what I'm saying? I, no, I, I mean... What, what, they put, what, they put, uh, what I put my mind to, yeah. I get it done. Yeah, man. Per personally, though, I, I'm not... I don't know. A lot of people have been saying, oh, I'm surprised. But if you really sit on a meds, 
Chris on him on the cricket pitch. He is dance hall, he's entertainment. <laughs> yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So it was only a matter of time. Absolutely, Chris. yeah, a natural entertainer. Yeah. A natural entertainer. So he just like, you know, we love music, you yeah. know, because music is part of sport. Yeah, exactly. You know, when we're going on the field, I go, we're going to the ground. It's always listening to music to get that sort of motivation mm -hmm. and that inspirational from, from a particular song. And they just give you that drive. So you actually, you know, music is actually part of us. You know, it's within us. Yeah, yeah. It is. You yeah. know, so we're just actually being a part of it now and, you know, spreading our wings in, in, in different departments. Yeah. I, I know that my friend DJ Roy up in uh, Ira Jam Radio Studios in New York City is burning to j uh, jump in. So, Roy, I know you have a few questions for Chris. Go ahead. <laughs> well, 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 the first one is I want to go back to cricket a little. And, <laughs> and Richie and Shells, especially Shells. All right. Let me say this before I ask a question. I don't usually talk about balls with men. <laughs> Excuse, sir. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The boss is, yeah. The boss is in the building, so <laughs> I got to go there. This one the time. The boss is in the building. This, this one, one time. time. Yeah. All right. Yes, sir. This one time. <laughs> okay, DJ. Now, now, Chris. Chris. <laughs> Bowl your ball. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, when, when, when you get a hundred and seventy five with just sixty six balls <laughs> <laughs> deliveries, deliveries. <laughs> yeah that is it yeah deliveries. <laughs> deliveries what is the mindset at that six the sixty six balls that are coming towards you <laughs> you know what you know sometimes I don't know if, if it, it probably happened in music as well when you, when you're in that flow and you're doing all a mix mm -hmm. And you just feel unstoppable. Yeah. And you just feel the mm -hmm. vibes. And you say, yes, today or tonight is my day or night. Mm -hmm. And you know, you just go with the flow and everything just come right into play. And that, that's what exactly happened that particular day. You mm -hmm. know, I was just feeling it from the ball one. And you know, like, wow, I'm in the mood, I'm in the zone. And then you just keep wow. going, you keep going. You pretty much you're in control. So you can dictate when you mm -hmm. want to do some something at what particular time mm. against what particular right. bowler. So you're just so in mm. control and in demand out there at a the particular time and it just being explosive. And that's how you know I could get I could get a double century. Yeah. You know, to be honest with you. <laughs> if I get most of the strike in the back end as well, I could yeah. get a double right. century. But that um <laughs> one seventy five it's actually phenomenal man. It yeah. was a it was yes, a, yes, it was yes. great to hear the stories behind my one seventy five. Mm -hmm. It's like the actually mm -hmm. world stopped. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah. When, when, when I listen to people talk about that particular day, mm -hmm. yeah. big, right. big meetings were happening and it had to, it had to stop. Mm. stop. Every, yep. People sleeping, they say, yo, the phone going off, wake up, Chris mm -hmm. Gale is about to do something, uh, create history right now. <laughs> yes, you need yes. to be up mm -hmm. to see this. Mm -hmm. You know, so the story mm -hmm. was actually like the world stand still yeah. at that particular time. It's yeah. like when you see and ball break the record with that yeah. hundred meter. Yeah. 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 Everybody stopped just to see that race. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. you know, cricket was playing at the time. Yeah. Cricket stopped. Yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. To, just to watch the race. It, it, so yeah, it was one of those moments. Yeah. Is there a bowler that you know when you go to the crease, you're you're you're, you're kind of nervous what, to face? No, that bowler hasn't been born. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> nervous. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. They are the one who are nervous. Ner well, can't I see. swear, nervous. No, can't bowlers see. have sleepless wow. nights. Yeah. I'm not asking you. Trying to it's, study. It's for them wow. to just come and tell the truth. Say, yeah, listen to me. <laughs> to go up against Chris Gill, <laughs> it's not normal. Yeah. It's not a normal wow. thing. When 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 they hear some stories, when they hear the, some of the stories about their team meetings, they spend <laughs> mm -hmm. like. Two hours discussing one player, Chris Gale. <laughs> Strategize. I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm telling you, man. When you hear the feedbacks and the stories about team meetings when they're going up against Chris Gale, it's just, you just have to laugh. Yeah, mm. yeah. You know, but yeah, man, that's, that's, that's what they're bringing, um, you know, on the field and, and to the table as well. Being the most wow. destructive batter in yes. the history of the game. That's yeah. me. I'm no joke. Yeah, that's it. Sending Sorry. people way outside of the uh, outside of the arenas to search for balls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, DJ, watch your ball thing. You know? <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 Chris, um, you're, you're headlining. I understand a compilation which includes people like Jason Derulo and Lauren Hill and mm. and some Jamaicans as well. Tell us a little bit about that project. That's a big, big project um, to actually be featured and um, contract album you know for the first time being featured on an album um, that's a big look for me in the music industry and then to be associated with so many big names in the music industry yeah. I'm like 
Wow. And guess who's headlining it? Chris Gale. <laughs> <laughs> the boss himself. Yeah, when I talk about Lauren Hill, Jason, yeah. you know, Cableton mm-hmm. and all those big names and then to, to be actually featured on the album. Yeah. It's a great feeling and that actually inspired me more to actually, yo, push further within this music because there's something out there, you mm-hmm. know, within this music and not to cut a, cut away from that particular topic. Third world mm-hmm. reached out to me. Wow. Mm-hmm. Third world, you know, a couple of days ago, I said, yeah, mm-hmm. Chris, wow. we have this project, we need you on it. And I'm like, what? Mm-hmm. Third world. Oh, that's great. Wow. Cat core and the yeah. crew, Rubes, mm-hmm. you know, everybody yeah, kind of yeah. reach out. I'm say, yeah. I'm going to say, oh, Kamar. Kamar is my engineer. Big up Kamar. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Kamar is yeah. the <laughs> Yeah, man. Kamar, you know, is the man behind everything and, you know, the recording and the producing as well. Right. Um, Even the writing as well. So big up to Kamar Flavor. Briscoe Lyrical. Big up yourself as well because <laughs> those are the ones who actually kind of drive me within the, yeah. the, the, the record label as well. But yeah, yeah, give um, me yeah. a good guidance. Yeah, but, as well. but Contractor, big up yourself as well, too, you know, yeah, to man. actually be featured on that album. Y- y- you have this big part of that you always keep uh, 40 Shades of Gale. Mm. We have heard much about it recently. Yeah, for the shades of You're wearing the t-shirt. I'm wearing the t-shirt as well, you know. Um, it's, 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 it's normally an annual thing, you know. Uh-huh. You know it's normally an annual right. thing. When you know, keep a birthday party at my house and all needs always, it's always go to charity. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, it's all my birthday mm-hmm. parties. It's, it's more for charities. It's go to my, go, the money goes to my foundation mm-hmm. and I kind of spread mm-hmm. it in, in, in my community and other community, community as well, communities right. as well. So, we haven't had it in a long time now. The last time I had it when I was 40. I'm not really <laughs> 40 now, but you said 40 shades again because it, be, you know, 40 shades became, became a brand now. Yeah. So I say, listen to me, right. it's fine. Part two. Mm-hmm. You know, so I say, yo, 40 shades again, part two now. And, you know, the date say, has been set? Yeah, the September the seventeenth. Okay. You know, September. My birth actual birth is the twenty first of September. Oh, mine That's is the nineteenth. <laughs> yeah, see there. So yeah, you have to pass through. Definitely. You have to pass through September the seventeenth. Yeah. Um, my birthday party. Uh, for the shades of Gale Park. Yeah, it's, it's going to be out the last time the Prime Minister was the there. So it's, so it's a good look. At the mansion, right? Yeah. <laughs> At the mansion. <laughs> Romy and Virgo performed wow. live really? the last one. Yeah. Bone to kill a past mm-hmm. travel and, you know, bless up the place. So it was a really a good look. And, and with uh-huh. your connections in the music, anybody can and pass. Anybody anywhere. can yeah. pass, yeah. you know. So don't don't, don't move, Chris. Yeah. We're going to earn some keeps and then we'll come back and do the rap. All right. We're on a break right now. More with the Universe Boss after these messages. I have one more question for for the universe boss. It has nothing to do with balls right now. Okay? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> if, if <laughs> DJ right. <laughs> <laughs> He's listening. He's listening. Shells Shel- Shel- is going crazy right now. I know. Mel it. Mel Wallet. Mel Wallet. Go on, Joe. What 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 I'd like to ask though, you know, you you being uh, 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 an ambassador for Jamaica, and yeah. you can live anywhere in the world. You can afford to live in Hollywood, anywhere in the world. Why Jamaica? Oh, Jamaica's the best place in the world. You know, I'll never leave. Mm-hmm. I give up my culture for anything. You know, Jamaica is the place. Can't go hungry mm-hmm. in Jamaica, man. That's so much <laughs> fruit tree around. You know what I say? You chop ah, a banana on a tree yes. and just, you know, well, I think mackerel, that's dinner. <laughs> 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 you know, we have to keep it real. We have to keep it real. You know what I say? Real as yes. Yeah, man. Jamaica yeah. nice. Yeah. Jamaica yeah. nice. And, and, and yeah. speaking mm-hmm. on that as well. I want to explore mm-hmm. my country. You know, mm-hmm. I have, I have, I have okay. an idea. I want to tour the entire 14 parishes mm. uh-huh. because oh. there are so many places I've seen in Jamaica and I've never been. Uh-huh. Hidden gems. And I'm saying, yo, mm-hmm. no, I need to go to those places in my own territory. Right. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to plan that a nice two weeks and do a island tour. Yeah. A, a parish tour, whichever okay. way you want to call it. Mm-hmm. So Can you imagine if you publish right. that and, and, the, and the views that we'll get? That's yeah, I'm yeah, I'm going to do that. Exactly. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Exactly. Man. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm going to do that, man. Yeah. You yeah. know, so it's, it's, it's going to be a good look. And I'll be on your side, you know, right. um, DJ Roy of New York. I'm coming over there. I'll be there on the 13th of, of, of August. I have, have a show over there All as right. well. So I have to link up with you for uh, sure. So make sure you come to your studio. Yeah. Yeah, sure yeah. I have to, to link up. And... And is, is there an official dance for this? The universe pass. Six runs out of the park. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> you love the one out of the park. Yo, yeah, I, yeah, I am so, so I When am you come up, you have to teach with it. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, I have another one there. I mean, Tomp as well, you know. Tomp? Tomp. Yeah, with me yeah. and Chris Gale and Pataskeng. Yeah, that okay. one. Like Tomp. Okay. You know, okay. clap your hands, Tomp, you know. So we have, we have enough. We have many songs out there, you know. We need to, y'all need to check out yeah, the profile, man. you know. <laughs> yes. Yeah, y'all need to check it out, you know. Um, what are your social media um, handles that you want to mention? <laughs> Mine's so easy to <laughs> easy. It's a Chris Gill Triple Tree. Uh, Chris Gill Triple Tree. It's only yeah. on Twitter I call myself Henry Gill because that's 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 my middle name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. You know, I normally mm-hmm. tell people it's ornery, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but Twitter is Henry Gale, and you know, Facebook is Chris Gale as well, too, as well. Everything verified anyway. Yeah. yeah. People yeah, are messaging right. me. Chris, people are messaging me as we speak. Yeah. Um, 40 Shades of Gale, how can they get tickets, uh, all that kind of stuff. You want to oh, share that? There, there's um, early bird right now, early bird tickets online right now with first line. So you can check it out. Check it out on my, my Instagram as well. The link is always on my in my bio on Instagram, Chris Gale Triple Tree. Okay. And the price now <laughs> is 15,000 Jamaican dollars. All right. Remember, mm. it's early bird tickets. Get it. <laughs> no. Wait until you wow. hear who's hosting it. It's going to be 30K. Oh. Ah. So grab your tickets <laughs> now. <laughs> when you hear who's hosting my birthday party, it's going to be wow. off the chain. Oh, so make man. sure you grab your tickets now. I remember. All proceeds go to charity. Okay, yeah. it's not going yes. into my pocket, yeah. and I'm spreading mm-hmm. those funds around within within Jamaica, within the so community. It's, it's a charity yeah. event, or uh, as usual. So it's fifteen thousand dollars online now. So grab your tickets, and make sure you're there on the seventeenth of September. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys. Mm-hmm. Some of you all would be invited to the private party. <laughs> the twenty first. That that's right. private, okay? Uh, All right. The universe boss, a <laughs> no, true respect. ambassador, yep. a Jamaican that we're that's so right. proud of. Great yeah. having you this morning, Chris, respect and continue uh, being a success, man. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. Man. It's a, it's a right. pleasure to be on the bridge. Oh, <laughs> yeah, man. Don't yeah. bridge your light, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Gale, the boss, was in the building, ladies yeah, and man. gentlemen.